guys, quick little intro here. So uh, I did end up going ATV riding or rocks riding, whatever, at the ATV park last weekend. Uh, quick little rundown. I actually didn't get much footage, not enough to make a video. I was by myself. My wife is seven months pregnant and she's, it's not a good idea for her to be bouncing around an old wood rat. So I was by myself. Um, I did meet up with some people up there. Anyways, I just decided to just relax and enjoy the the ride. I know it sounds stupid to say, but it is a lot of work to video all this stuff, whether you all realize it or not. I mean, you got to have people in your group that's willing to stop and and take that extra time to let you get out and video. And it's it it ruins people's trips sometimes if you're if you're with people you don't really know or or they're just not really wanting to go that route. So I was just relaxed and I did have some some good experiences there. The rocks did great. Uh, had a little few times where it shined and everything. But anyway, got me a little rag here. We're gonna ch check the oil in this thing real quick. Uh, I don't have any reason to be concerned. I just it's a good idea to go ahead and check it. I didn't before the last ride and I should have, but every time i have a four it's going all right so anyway let me uh jump into that we'll check the oil we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a cold start it should uh should sound pretty good reverberating off of this shed and everything this thing hasn't been cranked in uh over a week now so let's go ahead and see how it sounds how wet it is out here it just does nothing but rain and uh this thing was underneath that shed and you can just see how damp everything is it's just that humid and just nasty out here you got these goofballs that are ready to go they haven't been for a ride in a while Okay, so you guys know this road by all the other videos. I actually did forget the the GoPro that goes in my drone, so I have the drone but not a camera, so that does me no good. Uh, if I found out this is good footage or something, then I might have to go back and get it. Look at all that going on there. Get some water buffaloes. Um, every time I come down here just tooling around, I want to video going up and over this. I don't know if the camera shows it, but that's a that's a really steep grade. I'm curious to see if uh, my underbelly will drag right there. It's really soft, so I'm not really worried about hanging up. I don't have the winch controller if anything does happen, so that'd be a quite the walk. Um, I want to check out this trail too. These are fire lanes. They burned all this off recently, so I'm going to probably shoot down this one real quick. And then... Uh, see what's down there and get some video of going over that if you're ever exploring where you've never been before and there's questionable holes there just get these two uh, dogs that'll do all the depth finding for you see how deep they are like it might be a little bit deeper I know they aren't crazy though because uh, nobody around here has got something like 
very big and heavy and stuff to waller these holes out like this. this goes down in here. You can see where they burn some of this stuff off. shifted into four uh, low second and that way I can get a little better idling speed lower the RPM so and yes I know I don't need to be in full drive right now but the way this thing's set up to get the speeds I want that's why I put it in there just in case you're new and checking in you haven't heard me say that before 488 gears definitely help, but uh, sometimes it's still a little bit too quick. be honest with you guys this is some of the best trails I've been on in a long time just had to get out and move this so try not to scratch this thing too much Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to hang up find one of these Gonna have to break it off, probably. All right, that'll work. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's one of those good trails where just about anything could come down here as long as it wasn't too wide, and uh, as long as it's four wheel drive, you probably wouldn't get too stuck. I'm gonna try to get some clips and get out and you know set the cameras up and video some of this stuff and the rocks are going through but this is really it's really good stuff all right I think it's the end of the road for me right now being as though I'm pretty far away from the house and uh, yeah this is this is some sloppy stuff you can see where I went in there and it it just started sucking up the uh, tires and like I said already I don't have the winch remote and there's not really anything to winch to other than some small trees over here and there's not much looks like to be able to turn around or anything so for now until i you know get somebody to ride with me or something back here with their ride i think i'm gonna go ahead i've learned my lesson not to push anything that's some pretty sloppy stuff so uh, let's just see what we can get out of video on this trail.
I will never for the life of me understand why you can walk around in knee deep water and come out with ants on you. I don't know how they're, they do that. Anyway, got this nice little stream. Got the camera set up in the ditch. Hopefully gonna take it and run it across there and get a good angle and just see how tight it is underneath. I bet we scrub somewhere right there on the belly pan, but anyway, let's see how this works. Also, parents rockster's incoming. So if I do get hung up, at least I got something to get me out. Looks like it did pretty good. I don't see much hung up there. No, I just I just set it up to see if I would uh, break over right there without dragging. It looks like it barely even touched right there in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish up this video because I, I got my drone in the back. I went all the way down that side over there. Well, I say all the way down. I had to turn around. You can go a mile down in there.
that's going to be it uh, for this video. I do want to give you an update on the Dodge real quick. Um, I did get the tuning knob to work, and it is as ridiculous as I thought it would be. It's got to be around six, 700 horsepower. It's got to be. If that's something you guys would like for me to do a video on and kind of veer a little way from the Roxer and kind of go more broad. I mean, this channel wasn't originally for just the Roxer. It was supposed to be, you know, just all your typical redneck stuff. Anyway, I could do a video on that. Um, it's kind of wet. The roads are too wet to really play around right now. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to it doesn't cost you anything it just all it does is inflate me enough on youtube to where other people can see my videos so uh i'm gonna go in and edit it right now and hopefully have this video up tonight i don't know all right we'll catch y'all next time